important for our audience to fully grasp how the SADC operates uh, in terms of uh, coming up with the SEOM, which is the SADC Electoral Observer's Mission. Um, but to start from the beginning to help everybody, we want to make it absolutely clear that this mission does not belong to Zambia. Neither was it initiated by the President of the Republic of Zambia, nor the head of mission, in this case myself. This is a SADC mission with a SADC uh, mandate to ensure that we go to all countries that are part of the protocols of SADC who observe the democratic processes of elections. And we have standards that are set for all countries, not just a few SADC countries. Those standards have been set by SADC itself. So we are asking for our colleagues who are being trying maybe to be mischievous to try to pretend that they don't understand the process that is involved in coming up with a SEOM in order to observe uh, uh, the mission. So President Haka Indechlem was elected as the chairman of the Troika of SADC, which is the organ on politics, uh, defense, and security. And he is mandated by SADC to ensure that he constitutes a SEOM team to go to a participating uh, country within our community of nations. Uh, in that case, he worked with the Secretariat in Botswana to constitute the team. He also is mandated to nominate the head of mission, in which case he nominated myself. And when we got to Zimbabwe to observe the elections, it is clear that there is a misunderstanding that the head of mission, or President Haka Inde Ichilem, had a finger in the statement to try to move it in a certain direction for whatever reason those people are talking about. I would like to make it clear, none of that is true. There is a professional and scientific process in SADIC on how to come up with a statement. We arrive in Harare, we speak to more than 20 uh, uh, stakeholders, political parties, civil society, government officials, uh, op uh, opposition political parties, ruling parties. We speak to civil society. They give us their observations and their feelings about the election. Then we send our observers across the 10 provinces of Zimbabwe, and they report on a daily basis to us before the election on the environment of the, com of, 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 of the coming election. And we feed all that into the system of SADC. SADC is a very well-organized institution, and it is very um, 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 it is very strong in the manner in which it handles itself. So once all that information comes together, the drafting team, away from the head of mission, away from the chairman of the Troika, uh, President Haka Indichlem, they sit there in Harare, collect all this information, and draft a statement. That statement is then brought to the table where there is the Secretariat of SADC, then there is the Troika member states, which are the member states uh, that are in the Troika. At this time, it's Zambia, Tanzania, and Namibia. They are represented on that table. We also have a group called SIAC, which is the ad advisory body to SADC. It consists of lawyers and judges that have to go through every statement in order to make sure that it's legit and it's based on fact. So it's that that edits the statement. The head of mission is the last person to see the document and be able to go through it. And I must satisfy myself that the things we have been receiving from the stakeholders are the things in that report. So that is how that first report, preliminary report, came about. And we announced it as per procedure in every election. That's what SADC does. So we want to make it clear that this statement does not belong to Nevas Mumba. It does not belong to President Haka Indechlema. It does not belong to Zambia. It's a SADC document. I did not go to Zimbabwe as Zambian. I went there as a SADC representative. And that document now is lodged properly with SADC in Gaberon because it's their product. Have you presented the final report to SADC? Well, we have, uh, on last Saturday, I had the honor of presenting the final report 
uh, to the chairman of the Troika, President Hakainde Hichilema. And our team, uh, which I should confess has been a professional team from the beginning to the end, did an excellent job. And the only difference between the first report and the final report is that in the final report, we include all the developments that took place after the election up to the 28th of August. The other preliminary report only carried information up to election day. But now the final report has everything in it. It's complete. And as we speak, it's in the hands of the chairman of the Troika, President Haka in the The government of Zimbabwe is aggrieved, saying that you went above what you were supposed to do as the observer mission. And also the fact that you even went as far as interfering in the constitutional issues of that country in relation to the judiciary. Did you do that and why? I think uh, those are mischievous statements. First of all, the, we only, when we are dealing with observations, SADIC has got guidelines that it follows. We cannot include in our statement any line which does not uh, reflect or get its energy from three instruments. Instrument number one is the Constitution of Zimbabwe. The second instrument we use is the Electoral uh, Act of Zimbabwe. And the third one is the, um, are the guidelines and principles of SADC, which were composed by all SADC nations, including Zimbabwe. And the SADC guidelines and principles make it very clear. We do not go there to formulate laws for the member states, but we, we are given the mandate in the booklet to interrogate any law that impedes in a free and fair election. If there is a law in any member state that takes away the liberties and the freedoms of people to fully express themselves in choosing the leader that they want, we, we, we take note of that law and mention it in our report that this law stands in the way of freedoms that are supposed to be guaranteed to the members or that are citizens of the member states. So we are not interfering with the laws of any country. It is within the guidelines. It is within, and we didn't say change this law or change that law. We just you know, outlined laws on delimitation, and there was delimitation, and there was a point of, uh, uh, of conflict. Uh, the, you know, the ballot papers, when they should be released through transparency, we had to go back to the Constitution of Zimbabwe to see what it says. It talks about transparency. And we noticed that the other laws that were enacted to block that transparency, we didn't tell them what to do with that law, but we are mandated to point it out that this law stands in the way of a democratic process and it could actually affect the outcome or the uh, legitimacy of the, the outcome of the election. There's pressure right now uh, to discredit the report by those who are aggrieved. And they went as far as saying your proximity to the opposition in Zimbabwe can be a factor. How do you respond to those allegations? Let me make it clear. I think that our, our brothers in Zimbabwe need to understand that everybody means well for them. There is no one who goes there with a mission to destabilize or to disturb the Zimbabwean people. Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi, Sadek, we are one people. And our job is to make sure that we talk about those things that are going to improve the way we serve our communities. And that's what Sadek does. We don't go there with personal agendas. For them to go and call in some people, Western puppets, uh, saying that uh, we, you know, probably the head of mission um, knows the opposition leader, I think it's unfortunate and it's mischievous. Because they know that even if I had known the opposition, I don't have power to change a sentence in the statement because I am not the one who writes the statement. It is written through a scientific process of more than 25 people that work on that document to make sure that it's legit. So I think those are challenges that our brothers are facing. And our advice really is as follows, that it, they should not shoot the messenger. I think our colleagues in Zimbabwe should do what every other member nation does when they are challenged on the process of elections. 
There is a channel within the SADC framework within which Zimbabwe can take their grievances to Gaberon, to the headquarters, through the heads of mission, through the heads of states when they meet, and they can talk about how they feel about the report. They can protect themselves, they can defend themselves, but not fighting on the streets. And I would like to thank and congratulate the leadership of Zambia and the people of Zambia for not reacting to the provocation that has been coming from Zimbabwe. You must understand, Sophie, this is not the first time Zambia is suffering these things. You know, the historical situation is clear, that Zambia gave its very best and has always given its very best to Zimbabwe. And it's not part of this argument and debate, because this is a sadic issue. Zambia lost lives. Infrastructure was bombed by Ian Smith in order to attain the freedom of Zimbabwe. So our hearts are into Zimbabwe. Our hearts are into the success of Zimbabwe. Kenneth Kaunda laid down everything that he could in order for Zimbabwe to be free. So we cannot say that we are against Zimbabwe. And yet, shortly after that, they called Kenneth Kaunda a Western puppet. Uh, when they differed a little bit with the, uh, president, uh, uh, the, the late president. And then the other president whom I served when I was vice president, President Levy Mwanawasa, was also called a Western puppet just because it differed with one thing or the other in, in, in ZANU PF or in Zimbabwe. Now they have come after our new president, Akainde Chilema, calling him a Western puppet. I think that is totally irrelevant. We as Zambians, we are only puppets of our people, including Zimbabwe and SADC. That's why their freedoms and independence was all about the blood of Zambians and the deaths of Zambian people in order for Zimbabwe to get free. We cannot turn around and start to destroy a, a country that, you know, we helped so much with our blood to ensure that our brothers were free. So we advise our brothers that let them answer the challenges of the report. Let them not go after personal assassination of innocent individuals. President Haka Inge Chilema never wrote a single statement or a sentence in that statement. I did not write a single sentence in that uh, uh, statement, although I am the head of mission. So they are shooting at the wrong people. That final report is now in place, and we appeal to our brothers in Zimbabwe. Let's not have street fights when we have got legal channels that we can use to resolve this situation. We need each other. And we need to be united as SADC. We cannot be reacting to a report like this because now it raises concerns. Why are they overreacting to this report? Why can't they use the normal process to justify and vindicate themselves?